Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sew on Wednesday and my name is Lorraine. I'm in my sewing room um, filming this video. So sometimes I'm at my kitchen table, but today I'm in my sewing room. I normally will be in my sewing room. So, but welcome again. If this is your first time to my channel, I talk about cross stitch quite a bit these days. I was introduced to cross stitch about a year ago and just love the hobby. So I've been cross stitching since. So this is like a floss tube channel for right now. So, and I've got a few things to show you guys. And you guys that are coming back again, thank you again for returning. Um, y'all are the sweetest people. I'm telling you, y'all leave the sweetest comments on my comment section and, and um, on my videos. And I just really appreciate it. And I try to put a heart on everyone. I read them. I get up in the morning looking forward to reading what you guys have um, um, said to me and said about the video and even your own, what's going on in your own life. And um, that's our, my way of communicating, you know, with you is through the comments section. And so I just love reading them and I love your comments. So thank you again. So I've got a few things. I've got them on the floor today because I've kind of ran out of room. My little table that's in front of me right here is a little TV stand. And I really need to get a bigger table, but until I do, I'm going to start putting my stuff on the floor because the stack was too big. I've got them all in project bags and um, with all the threads in the bags also with the pattern and the cute snout. It was a big stack so it wouldn't stand up so I had to lay them on the floor on the side. So I'll be bending over to pick those up but anyway welcome and I've got so much to share with you. So I'm ready. Are you guys ready? <clears throat> okay the first thing up is the big kahuna. You guys that have been following me know what the Big Kahuna, for you guys that are new to my channel, the Big Kahuna is the Christmas house. Me and my friend, Carolyn, she's my cross stitch buddy, and she's also the person who showed me how to cross stitch a year ago. We started this big project July 18th. She came down, she lives in Maryland, and Carolyn flew down. She normally comes down in the summer and in the um, winter time around Christmas and spend the holiday with us and me and my family. So she was here and we, our plan was to start this big project, which we nicknamed the Big Kahuna. And it's the Christmas House by Artist D. So I'm gonna start off with that today. Um, <clears throat> our goal is to do at least 500 stitches a week. And even at that rate, it would take us eight to 10 years to finish this, because this is a large project. But this is what we've done. We started this and I'm right here. I've worked my way up to the lamppost. I'm working on the side of the door in this little porch. Now, Carolyn, we've been, since I live in Texas and she lives in Maryland, we've been just texting pictures back and forth of how we're progressing on the Christmas house. And she actually emailed me her picture. So I'm gonna show you guys, after I show you how much I've done, how much she's done. She's really been at it, I'm telling you. So I'm going to tell you, she's got part of, the, well, actually the full door um, is almost filled in. And she's gotten over here on this wall and this little picture that's on the wall, she's done that. And she's also started on the high chair. We discovered there's a little high chair right there in the kitchen on that wall. So that's how much she has gotten done. So I'm going to show you mine first and then I'm going to show you hers. So this is what I've done. It doesn't look like much since my last video, but I've done quite a bit. I've, this it was right here. I've moved my way up, and then I've I filled in this more, and I've also filled in the door more. I still got quite a bit to go. Um, to stay on track, I need to get this next page all the way up to the top here done by September the 28th. So that's my goal, just to stay on track. Now, like I said, Carolyn is the head of me, so that's mine. You can see the little Christmas wreath. There's a little Christmas wreath starting to form right here on the side. This is a page break, so this would be pa this is page one, and this was page two. So that's how much I've gotten done on mine. All right, now let me show you guys what Carolyn has done. My little cross stitch buddy, she's been going at it. Now I've got it on my computer here, so I'm gonna to try to hold this up so you guys can see it. 
Let's see if I can get this on there. <clears throat> you kind of re can see the re reflection of my my phone, my camera filming, but there you go. Can you guys see it? So you can see that door and the roof on the door and the light lamp post and the top of it's um, almost done. And see, you can see that little picture I was telling you on the wall. She's done a lot. Carolyn, how many stitches do you think you put in? Can you leave that in the comment section? I just want to know, girlfriend. I think that's like four pages. I think she's worked on one. One is done. The first page is done. The second page, she's almost got done. And then she started on the third and fourth page. I'm only on page two. But you go, girl. You go. So that's how we're doing it. We're trying to... Uh, and I'll try to show you guys um, on my computer every video I make how she's progressing on hers. So you get to see mine, you get to see hers too. So that's the Christmas House. The Christmas House Large by Artisty Cross Stitch. Okay, the big kahuna. Alrighty. Now... I told you guys I did not have a fall start, and it really bothered me. I thought, oh my goodness, I love fall. I just love the cooler weather coming in, the colors, uh, what it stands for, you know, Thanksgiving, blessings, thankful, pumpkin pie, all that good stuff. So I looked in my stash, and I did have two patterns for fall, and I picked out one of them. I'm going to show you what I started. Now, it's a small start. I just started it, maybe worked on it two hours. <clears throat> It's adorable. It's called Meet Me at the Pumpkin Patch by Ursula Michaels. Isn't that cute? Count your blessings. I just love that. I love the colors. I love everything about it. Let me tell you what I'm doing it on. I am going to be, let me see. It's, it's 14 count Ada Vintage Oat Oak. Oat. No, it's O-A-T. Oat. I started this September the 4th, and the finished size is 8 inches by 6 inches, and it's all DMC threads. So, oh, let me show you right here, so you know where I'm at. I did the little pumpkins, and I did not do the back stitch yet. I did the flowers. I did some of the green down here. I started on this green basket, but like I said, the back stitch is not in, so it's not going to be defined yet. And next, next week, I hope to have my back stitches in so it will look like pumpkins. So that's how much I've gotten done on that. So let me show you. I bought this um, Ada Call from Hobby Lobby. And whenever it says vintage, no matter what color you get, it says vintage on it. It's got a lot of modeling on it. It's real pretty. You can see it back here if I hold it back here. But that's what I've gotten done. Like I said, this is the pumpkins and the flower in the beginning of the um, green crate. But you can't really tell what it is because I don't have the back stitching in. So I want to do that next, get that back stitching in there. And what do you think about my little fox? Needle minder. I thought it was perfect for fall. So that's what I've gotten done. On Meet Me at the Pumpkin Patch by Ursula Michaels. Yes, I just could not have fall go by without me doing something. I may not get it done, but I got it started and I'll enjoy doing it during the, the fall months. I did make me a project bag also for this. I want to show it to you. I got this fabric from Hobby Lobby. Sorry for, oh, I know the zipper sounded really loud, didn't it? I'll try not to zip these up while I'm showing them to y'all. But there's my project bag. Love it. Put this down here. Okay, my next one is a lavender lace. I have two lavender lace patterns that I'm working on. And my last video I talked about wanting Enchanted Alphabet. I said Alphabet, but it ended up being Enchanted Alphabet. 
and I was trying to track that pattern down. I really wanted it. It's the alphabet, and it's got a little girl with a beautiful white dress on and a, and a little white rabbit in that in that pattern. And I thought, oh my gosh, that's so cute. i got to get it. So Carolyn went to looking for it. She's, she's a member of um, a Facebook group with cross-stitching. They do all cross-stitching on there. So she put out the word out there that I was looking for the for the pattern enchanted alphabet and of course a few of them said go to one three one two three cross stitch or everything cross stitch and another website too and i've already had been to those and they had already sold out of the pattern they were out of stock so carolyn she lives in maryland she lives about three hours away from ocean city and um she's been to salty yarns that's in ocean city it's a cross stitch store it sells all this ada all these linens, everything you need for cross-stitching patterns and everything. And she just thought, by chance, would they have this enchanted alphabet? So she ended up calling them, and they said, well, let me go check. And they had one pattern there in their store. And they told her, we have one. And she goes, I want it. She said, can you hold it for me? Well, she has a friend named Ellen, and she called Ellen, and Ellen lives in Maryland, about three hours away from Ocean City. But Ellen happened to be in Ocean City when Carolyn called her just a few blocks away from Salty Yarns. And she said, Ellen, can you swing? Well, she said, where are you at? She goes, well, I'm so-and-so. She said, oh my goodness, you're not that far away from Salty Yarns. And she goes, well, no, I'm not. She said, can you swing by and get this pattern? And I'm going to be giving it to Lorraine when I see her. At Christmas and she says well sure so listen people the odds of that happening really her being there at that time the same day is around the same time so within one hour of Carolyn locating this pattern Ellen had it in her hands and I thought oh my goodness so uh, Carolyn sent me a picture of it going I've got it I've got it she said the chickens in the basket and that's something we kind of my family's done that for years. If we pick someone up at the airport we'll go, and we got them in the car, we'll, we'll text the chickens in the basket. Or if we've um, picked up an item or something, that just tells everyone, hey, we've got what we came for. So she's telling me the chickens in the basket. I thought, oh my goodness, she's got my pattern. So anyway, I'm really excited about that. So thank you again, Carolyn. And thank you, Ellen, too, for going by the store and getting it. So I really appreciate it. So... I did already kit it up too. I went, as soon as Carolyn told me she had the pattern, I went on everything cross stitch and they list the threads that you need. So I wrote down the threads. I went on ahead and got the threads. I've got the Ada cloth. It's ivory 16 count, I believe, Ada cloth. And I've already got it kitted up and I'm waiting for my pattern to show up at Christmas. So I am ready really excited. There's a few, um, right now, there's a few lavender and lace patterns on sale at Everything Cross Stitch. I think it's Everything Cross Stitch, or is it one, two, three? It may be one, two, three cross stitch that they're on sale. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. I don't know how long they're going to be on sale, but they're like a couple of dollars less than what they normally are. So I may be buying a few more because I really like the lavender and lace patterns. Um, some of them are beautiful. Nantucket Rose is one that I've got my eyes on. I've got a list. I've got my list right here, what I want. Nantucket Rose, Morning Song, The Quilt Maker, Sweet Dreams. And they've got two brides. One's just called Bride and the other one's called Spring Bride. And they're just so lovely. They have beads and everything, Mill Hill beads. And I thought, oh my goodness, they're so, so beautiful. So... I have my have my eyes on those, so I may have to purchase those off, but I'll keep you posted if I do. All right, let me get back to lavender and lace. These are really, like I said, beautiful patterns. So this is Winter Winter Rose by Lavender and Lace. And the last time I showed you, which has been a few weeks ago, I had just this bottom part done right here. And now I've worked my way up her dress. I haven't got the ruffle part here completed, but I've got this part of her dress done. I've started on her arm. You will be able to see the outline of her arm. And I really wanted to get to her hand, but I didn't quite make it. So, so let me show you. 
what I've done. I'm trying to find my information card and I don't see it on this one. So, but it looks like, hmm, this is 14 count. Yes, 14 count white Ada. And this is the one that um, when I went to purchase this at Everything Cross Stitch, they recommended Forget Me Not Blue Ada. And I did purchase that, but I decided I wanted to do it on white because the picture, the background was white. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna do it like this because I wasn't sure how the blue was gonna show up. It probably would have been beautiful, but I'm going this route, so. But here you go, here she is. Isn't she beautiful? I just love this right here, how the folds just show up. So like I said, I've still got the side of her dress to do. And this is her arm, her back, and the top of her dress. And I still have the border to do, and I think I've got one more line right here. So I really was focusing on her dress. I wanted to get her dress done. Love it. So this is Winter Rose by Lavender and Lace. I'm hooked on Lavender and Lace right now, for sure. So let me get this back in the bag. And the next one, let me show you. Okay, it's my lavender and lace. I'm trying to choose, I know which project bag it's in. It's in this one. <clears throat> my Paris bag, it's all got to do about love. This is my other lavender and lace. Like I said, I only have two. Let me get it out of the bag here. Still on its cue snap. Oops, I'm about to drop everything. This is my little card. I actually got this pattern from Cross Stitch World and I started it on August 20th. It's called The Wedding. It's 16 count and the Ada cloth is called water lily that I'm doing it on and the finished size is going to be 14 and a half by 18 and a half and that's how it looks the wedding isn't that lovely so what I've done I've started with the flower girl and I had gotten her dress last time y'all saw it I was down here working on the bottom of her ruffle so I've moved up, I've got her bouquet of flowers done in the top of the dress right here. And you'll be able to see where this cuts off right here because the bride's dress coming down. So that's how much I've gotten done. So let me show you, let me show it to you now. This was so hard for me to put down because I wanted to, you know, keep working on it, but I knew I had other whips I wanted to work on too. But isn't that beautiful? These are little rose petals right here. And I was down here, so I've worked my way up and I've got her flowers all done. And I've got part of her arm right here done. And this is where the, her, um, the bride's dress is gonna be right here. So that's why it looks that way. And I've got a few more stitches to put over here because the dress is real full. So I've got a ways to go over here, and I'm going to work on that this week. But isn't that beautiful? I just love that. The Wedding by Lavender and Lace. Another one of my favorites. You know, I think all my whips are my favorites. I really do. I just enjoy stitching these these cross stitch patterns, and I only buy, you know, what I really, really think is beautiful, and I'm going to enjoy doing. And that is beautiful. 
Okay, let's talk about Christmas because the next three whoops I got has got to be about Christmas. Oops, sorry. That was the handle to my desk. I just hit it. This one is the Little Drummer Boy stocking. No, Little Drummer Bear stocking. Excuse me, not boy. Bear stocking by Cooler Design Studios. Isn't she adorable? I love the colors. I love everything about him. I really do. Let me tell you some information about him. I've got to get a bigger table, people. I'm Stuff is falling everywhere. I've got some in my lap now. And this little TV stand is going to have to go. <clears throat> okay. The Little Drummer Bear Stocking. I started it on July 19th. And it's being done on 14 Count Ada. And this is the only one I'm doing it with three strands instead of two strands. Normally I use two strands. But this one called for three strands. And I tried it out. And it's really... Thick. The threads are really thick on it, but it looks really nice. And the finished size is going to be eight and a fourth by 14 inches. So, and let me tell you what I've done. Last time I was down here, I had just started the bow, and now I've completed the bow. I've got part of the package done here. I've started on the blue part of the package right there, and I've got the top of his little ear. And just a little bit of the top of his head. So let me show you. Isn't that cute? You can see his little ear right here. But isn't that package beautiful? Doesn't it just pop? I've got some garland going on here, and I thought that was a Christmas ornament when I first put it up there, but I think it's part of this garland that's coming down. So, and I still have that to fill in. That's, that's easy stitch. You don't have to think about it. So I do that when I'm trying to watch a movie or something that really I need to pay attention. I can just go back and forth and stitch that up. But um, there's a big Christmas ornament that's going to go right here. And then the bear, of course, goes right here. So, but isn't that darling? Just love it. The Little Drummer Bear by Cooler Classic Designs. It's going to be cute. It's going to be cute. Like I said, I love all my projects. All my whips. If it's pretty, I want it. All right. The next one is this is how I I've got snack bags for these there's not too many um, DMC threads but I've got them in little snack bags on a ring that'll work and I've got it marked but this one's Country Cottage Needleworks and these, I believe there are 11 individual patterns. I'm going to try to hold them up for you. There's all like 11 of these. And you can do these individually like as Christmas ornaments or pillows. So there's 11. And if you go to Country Cottage Needleworks website, they have these put together as a one big picture, and that's what I'm doing with them. And you can print that picture off and lay out the pattern the way you, I mean, if you prefer to do it that way, it, I'm doing it that way, so it just made it easier for me. So this is the picture. That I printed off, like I said, from everything cross stitch. And I've started down here with the gingerbread house. And the last time you guys saw it, I was only right here. I only had half of the gingerbread house done. I've completed the gingerbread house. I've added the snowflakes. I've added the trim up here. I've also started on the next one, which I've got the tree done. 
I've got the snow down there. I got the foundation of the house and the door, um, the little red door right there. I've got the, the beginnings of that. And I'm doing it on, I started on July 28th, and I'm doing it on 14 count lamb's wool, Ada. And the finished size will be 16 by 14 inches. So let me show you what I've done. Isn't that darling? Love the colors. So, so cute. And this is an easy stitch. This is not hard to do at all. And you can really get a house done in no time. But isn't that darling? I still need to put, um, there's some berries down here on these bushes. They're French knots. Or you can use beads. I'm going to do French knots. And then I've got to do his eyes, a little gingerbread man's eyes. They're back stitch and two little French knots. And I believe that's all I have to, to do on this. I'm going to wait to the very last one. I've got it all sewn on before I add any top end embellishments like French knots or beads so I don't mess them up. So, But there you have it. Country Cottage Needleworks, the Gingerbread Village. And they have three of these villages out. They've got the Nutcracker Village, Gingerbread Village, and the Snow Village. And I've got all three of them. Well, really, Nutcracker Village, I'm still waiting on. That's the newest release one. And it still has like two patterns to put out there uh, by, I believe it'll be out there by October. So I'm going to get those. But I've got all the ones that have been released. So anyway, but this is the only one I've started on. This is the only village I've started on. It's the Gingerbread Village. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. If you want something really fun to work on, get this one. It's really fun. Okay, my last whip I've worked on is is the mini activity. Now, you guys, I want to thank you guys. A few of y'all um, commented on, you know, I started, I made a comment, well, I made, I made several comments about this one, that this pattern was so dark when I started, and it was dark for a long time, and I was just getting discouraged. I thought it should be a lot brighter since I've seen pictures of this completed by other people. And um, a few of you guys commented that it needed to be dark, and then it will lighten up, and with baby Jesus over here, sitting over here glowing with the light, it just all needed to be darker. So when it gets over to him, it's just going to pop and make him the center point, which this is what this is all about, Jesus, you know. So it's like, oh my goodness, I need to look at this in a different way. So thank you for sharing that, um, co those comments on Keep working on it. Keep pushing on. And you're going to be pleasantly surprised when you get to baby Jesus. So I worked on this. After reading your comments, I worked on this. This is what I call my Sunday stitch. I work on it every Sunday. Not only did I work on it Sunday two weeks ago in this past Sunday, but I even worked on it on Labor Day and did a little bit on it. So I just couldn't put it down because I thought, I'm going to get to Jesus. I'm going to get to Jesus. So... So I've worked my way. I was down here, and I've got the bottom of the sandal, and I've worked my way up to about right here on this uh, wise man's garment here. And there's a little, there's a rock right here, and I've got the bottom of that rock, um, the shaded, it's kind of shaded gray in. Doesn't look like much, but it was many, many hours of working, so... But I want to show you. I'm so excited. I'm doing this on 16 count white Ada. I started this on April 30th. And it's solid coverage. And when it's done, the, the piece is going to be 20 inches by 16 inches. And there's 88 DMC colors. And this is what I've gotten done. Trying to get something behind it so you can't see right through it. But this is the sandal of the kneeling wise man. This is his garment at the very bottom. 
and I was like right here the last time I showed you guys. So I worked my way up. This is that stone I told you. There's a stone there. And this is the beginning of that wise man, um, that standing wise man's garment, which is a cream color. And it is starting to lighten up for sure. You can tell by this color right here. It's like a beige, light beige. So this was another one that was hard for me to put down once I started seeing it come to life like that. I went, oh my goodness, I want to continue working on it. So, The Meaning Activity by Heaven Earth Designs. Getting there, one stitch at a time. I'm going to get there. So thank you again for, for just encouraging me to keep on keeping on on that one. That's the only one I felt like this, this because of the dark, um, but it is starting to lighten up. Okay, I got a couple more things to tell you guys. Let me go drink a water, a little sip of water. Let me show you my cup too. Happy fall, y'all. I'm ready for fall. I know you guys are too. We've had a really hot summer here in Texas, so we're ready for it to cool down. I'm ready for pumpkin pie, too. Anyway, I went to Half Price um, Bookstore. that We got one here in my city, my little town here. And I went, I just thought, well, you know, I see a lot of patterns sometimes that have been pulled out of books and magazines. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to go see what they've got in my Half Price Bookstore. So I went there, and I found me a book that I was really interested in. It's called Better Homes and Gardens, Stitching Pretty. And there's 101 um, cross-stitch projects to make in here. So I purchased it for $7.99. And I'm going to show you guys. I did not mark the page, so I'm going to have to flip through it. But there's this bride and groom. Don't ask me. I'm hooked on bride and grooms right now. I just think they're beautiful. Um, let me see if I can find the page. But this is a bride and groom. And it's a... It is a wedding cake topper. I have never seen a cross stitch wedding cake topper before. And I thought, oh my gosh, how cute is that? So I thought, I'm gonna make these. And, and they stand up, they come with the pattern also to do the base and how to sew them up and stand them up. But let me, I gotta find it. I should have marked the page. I thought I had marked the page, but I think my paper fell out. So. But it's got a bunch of beautiful stuff in here. Oh, here they are. It's called To Have and To Hold. <clears throat> but look at these. Aren't these darling? And it's on a wedding cake. And these are also cross-stitch flowers they actually put on this wedding cake. But this is a cross-stitch wedding topper. And this, the groom and the bride. And there's a back to them also. So that's the front. And they're not going to be very tall. Um, it says 9 by... No, they can't be 9 by 7 inches. Are they 9 by 7 inches? They may be. No, 12 inch. 12 inch. Bride and groom's going to be 12 inches. So they are going to be a good size. But they've got the back. They've got the back to them also right here. So I want to do the front and the back. And, and then they show you how to um, put it together and have a base on them too. So I thought they're so cute. I thought I'm going to make these for my sewing room. And I'm going to put them right back there on my shelf. If you notice on the very top of my shelf back there, I've got this um, doll. Um, antique reproduction doll I'm working on. It's a lady doll. And I've still got to um, do her uh, mohair wig, which I'll make um, by hand because it's real little. And then I've got to clothe her. But right beside her in the center is a glass dome and it's got a wedding cake topper. And that's from my, my husband and I's wedding cake um, when we got married many years ago, and I've kept it all these years. So, so I'm gonna put these little wedding cross stitch wedding toppers up there displayed. So, where aren't they, darling? I'm gonna show you guys one more time. I've already went and got the threads. There's only like six threads to them. That's the front. 
and that's the back. Shouldn't take me too long to do them. Cute as could be. And there's a few other things in here too. I'm gonna show you real quick and then we'll move on to my very last thing here. Um, there's a there's this bear called Brother Bears. I'm trying not to show you the, the chart here. Isn't it cute? That was darling. And there's Miss Jenny. <laughs> I love the fact that she's barefooted. So down to earth. And then there's Miss Lizzie. And she's also barefooted too. So I don't know, there's a few things in here I may want to just cross stitch, but I'm definitely doing the bride and groom. So, so anyway, Better Homes and Gardens, Stitching Pretty. My husband had gotten me a cross stitch um, pattern book for Christmas last year, and it was just Christmas, um, I guess he had ordered it online from Amazon or somewhere, and it was just Christmas, you know, cross stitch in it. So, and um, I really like that too. So now I've got two books. I've got two books to pull patterns from. All right, last but not least is my um, grandbaby's Christmas stocking. I'm still working on it. I really need to get on this, I'm telling you. But I've almost got it finished. <clears throat> this is the one I'm doing out of felt, and it's a kit. And I've gotten everything done, of course. Um, I'm, I just added this. A piece of candy peppermint and this peppermint I'm working on the this little candy cane right now so there on my craft table and I've almost got it done I just need to attach it and then I've got two more candies down here to do and then I'll be done and then I'll need to add this cupcake and do all these candies up here for her pretty little name and sew it together so I still got quite a bit to do because all these pieces take time isn't this darling? Oh my gosh, it's turning out so, so cute. I just put this on and this one on. And like I said, I've got a candy cane to go right here and another lollipop right here. And I'll be done down here. So all the bottom part right here will be done. So, and I believe this cupcake goes on last. I'm not sure, but she's holding a cupcake. And then all of this up here has got little tiny pieces of cupcakes, candies, trim that I need to do. So I'm going to really try to focus on this this week in the next two weeks and get all that done down here and maybe the cupcake. So that's my grandbaby's Christmas stocking. Got to get it done. We're in September now. Still got plenty of time, but I better not be wasting any time. Oh, it's going to sneak up on me. Christmas will be here before you know it. Hey, Hobby Lobby's already got their Christmas stuff out. I went in there and their trees were all lit up. I thought, woohoo, that's okay with me. I like to shop early and I love Christmas. So, all right, everyone, I'm looking around. You know, I always look around to see if I've missed anything. So I think we're good to go. I'm so glad you joined me today. And um, I am um, hoping you have a wonderful day. It's late in the afternoon today. I, it was filming a little bit later than I normally would um, today. So it's getting kind of... Um, dark in this room so i hope it turned out okay the video but i hope you guys have a blessed week a blessed um, rest of your evening and remember one stitch at a time will get you there one stitch at a time and i'll see you guys in two weeks all right god bless bye bye now